Okay, well, it is a interesting question of how does the system management interrupt handler know what the cause of an SMI was? And that is reported via these various status bits that were in that big long table. So specifically, the BIOS write status flag is going to tell it that one of these two events occurred. So again, this we're going to be in a very typo-y section of the manual apparently here, or at least according to my interpretation, I might be wrong and some Intel person can go tell me I'm wrong. But I believe this should be BIOS write enable equal to zero. So attempting to write to the BIOS while write is equal to zero. So when we go search for this BIOS write status flag, we find this. There's some Tico status one register that has BIOS write status inside of it. And if it's zero, the software clears this bit by setting it to one. So after the system management interrupt happens, if this bit was set, then software would clear it by setting it to one, which would put this back to zero. But normally the way that it gets set to one is the PCH sets this bit and generates an SMI to indicate an invalid attempt to write to BIOS. This occurred when either, you know, either of these two things. But unfortunately, there seems to be a bunch of typos here. It says that BIOS WP bit is changed from zero to one and the BLD bit is also set. Well, there's no hits in the manuals for BIOS WP. So I think that's supposed to be BIOS WE, BIOS write enable. Furthermore, I think that BLD is probably supposed to be BLE here. And so it either is the BIOS write enable bit is changed from zero to one and the BIOS lock enable bit is set or any write is attempted to the BIOS and the BIOS write protect, or BIOS write enable bit rather, is also set. And I think that should be clear. So, I mean, that's probably just this typo transposing itself into here. So if you attempt to write to the BIOS while the BIOS write enable bit is clear, well, it's saying write is not enabled, so you're not allowed to do that. Anyways, there's some status bit and the software is going to check it and then it's going to act accordingly. So where is this status bit found? Where is this Tico1 status register? It's at TicoBase plus four. Well, where is TicoBase found? So you search around for TicoBase and you'll find this line that says TicoBase value, which is PM base plus 60. So what's PM base? Well, PM base is the ACPI base address register, which is at the LPC device, bus zero, device 31, function zero, offset 40. So it's so simple, you just go to PM base, which is at BDFO 031040, take bits 15 to seven, that'll give you the PM base, add 60 to it, that'll give you a Tico base, and at this point, I should probably say, actually, PM base is an IO uh, address. It's an address in the IO space, not a memory address. So pull this out, you get an IO, port IO address. Add 60 to that address, you get Tico base, which is still a port IO address. Add four to that, you get Tico status, Tico one status, and then check bit eight of that, and you'll find the BIOS write status. And now I need to let my animation catch up to everything that I just said. It's so simple, right? So one manner of port is Tico status one. Well, it's something that's primarily poked by hardware. So hardware sets the bits saying why a system management interrupt happened. And then it's peaked by the SMI handler. Although the SMI handler has to poke it also to clear the bits. So we saw back with that BIOS write status, uh, it needs to write a one back over the existing one in order to set it back to a zero.